Hi everybody. I have a new project today. It's with tumbled pottery, tumbled glass, and resin. If you're interested, let's get started. For this project, I'm using glass and pottery I've tumbled myself, but you can always buy tumbled glass online or even use real beach glass. I'm making a picture of a potted plant by using a piece of pottery for the base, a marker for the stems, and small pieces of glass for the leaves and flowers. I like to lay out the design before I pour any resin to make sure it's exactly the way I want it. Also, I will explain how I prepare the frame later in the video. The tiny blue pieces of glass are actually from a bowl that I cracked up that just broke that way, similar to how a windshield would break tempered glass and I did tumble them so they're not sharp. So the next step is to take them all off <laughs> so that you can pour the resin. So remember before we even started this, I had to take the glass out of the back and then put a silicone sealant around and then put the glass back on. And then what I do next is I take tape and put it all the way around the perimeter. Putting tape around the perimeter helps prevent any leaks in case you might have missed the spot with your uh, sealer. So what I did with this to prepare it was to take out the back, the backing, pull out the little tabs, take the glass out, I use this quick seal and it's a clear adhesive caulk and I put it all the way around the edge and then I put the glass back in and let it dry for 24 hours. Once it's dry for 24 hours, then I take um, painter's tape and go around the edge just in case a spot was missed and no resin will seep through it. And then you're ready to pour the resin. So when using resin, I always use gloves. You don't want to get it on you. And one of the things that you need at your side when you're using resin is uh, rubbing alcohol. I even got it in my hair one time and I used, I thought my hair was going to be stuck together for life. And so I <laughs> used the rubbing alcohol and it actually took it right out. As long as it hasn't dried, you have to do it before it dries. Once it dries, I don't know what to tell you. So with this uh, resin, I use Total Boat Resin um, Tabletop Epoxy. I get this on Amazon. I'll leave a link below. It's a whole gallon and it's uh, half a gallon and half a gallon to make a whole gallon. And there's the resin and then the hardener. And I usually do it by weight. If you do it by volume, it's half and half. If you do it by weight, it's uh, one part to 0.83 of the hardener. Okay, and you and after you do this a while, you'll be able to know, but this is just a small section. So, and then once you have the two together, this resin is really good to work with because um, it has a minimal smell. I don't, I actually don't even smell anything. And then you stir it together for about three minutes. It kind of turns foggy, and not only does it turn foggy, but you get a lot of bubbles in it, but you use a heat gun to blow the bubbles out. And it's, I say blow the bubbles out, but you're really heating them out because you don't want to put too much um, force on it because it can blow the resin up over the edges and you don't want that. But if you do get it up over the resin, that I mean over the sides of the um, frame, you can use the rubbing alcohol to wipe it off. And that's the time to wipe it off because I made the mistake of not wiping it off of a frame once and it was just stuck there for good. And once you're ready, pour it 
pour it in and you don't really need that much set it right there and then smooth it out if you stir it slower you won't get as many bubbles make sure you get into the edges last time i did this i wasn't wearing my glasses and i didn't get all the way into the edges but the good news is if you don't get all the way into the edges and you notice that after it's dried you can mix up some more after this has you know dried and uh, pour it right over on the parts and it'll be fine I'm going to go up close. I'm going to see if you can see all the little bubbles and how foggy it is and the bubbles. And then you'll see how clear it becomes after I put the heat gun on it. Here's the heat gun I use, and I'll link the description of this, but you can use any heat gun. Um, I would not put it on high as far as the um, amount of pressure that it's putting on it, but I put it up to four between four and uh, 500 degrees. So you adjust the temperature of the heat gun on the back like this. I don't know if anyone noticed, but I used a green marker to make the stems, and after I poured the resin on it, it uh, turned blue. I've used acrylic paint before and the color was not changed by the resin, so I'll have to do that next time. So next thing I'm gonna do is clean up where the epoxy got onto the frame. I don't know if you can see it there, but as long as you clean it up while it's still wet, it comes right off. And that's for around the edges, too. I'm using the rubbing alcohol on the cloth to clean the frame. Now we're going to try to put this back together again. I find a toothpick works best to move the glass around so that you don't get resin on your fingers. When the project's done, it needs to dry flat between 70 and 80 degrees Fahrenheit. This is the finished project. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe. See you next time.